In this video, we now see how to do hypothesis testing. So what I'm going to do is do the following hypotheses. I'm going to first start by asking whether in this Paint9 data set, with the true uh, mean in Toronto is equal to 1, which means is it true that in the population, the number of events uh, each per day in Toronto is equal to 1. Well, next, well, let's, let's do this one first. Go to statistical inference, hypothesis testing, for means and standard deviations. You want, since we're testing whether one mean is equal to one in the population, we want to do a one sample analysis. And now I uncheck this box because I'm only interested in, in the whether the true, what's the hypothesis testing with the true mean of the number of events each day in Toronto. Um, here's check this box mean, uncheck standard deviation. So the null hypothesis is that the true number of events per day in Toronto is equal to 1, that's your null. With the two tail test, the alternative of course is not equal to 1. Hit OK. And here's what you have. Sample size of 500. In Toronto the sample mean was 1.374. Sample standard deviation is 1.184. We believe, we hypothesize the true mean in Toronto is 1, one event per day. Alternative was not equal to 1. And now a standard error, of course we know how the standard is done. Uh, we've done this in class. We've covered this already. Now here's, here we go. At 10% significance, which means 90% confidence, 5% significance or 95% confidence, and 1% significance or 99% confidence, we reject the null hypothesis. That means that any of these confidence levels we are sure that the true mean is not equal to 1. Next up, let's do the hypothesis testing for uh, f two samples. So now what you want to test is, 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 is there some, can you test whether Toronto is fundamentally different than Calgary? So one way to do this is to ask, is the true number of events per day in Toronto equal to the true number of events per day in Calgary? That is, in the population, is the true mean in Toronto equal to one in Calgary? So basically what you're testing is, is it true that the true mean in Toronto minus Calgary's true mean is equal to zero? Well, if there is no difference between the two cities, the true the difference in mean should be equal to zero. If there is a difference in the, between the two cities, the difference in mean should be not zero. Well, the way you test this, of course, is you go to statistical inference. Go to hypothesis testing for means and standard deviations. We now do a two sample analysis. And now we want to test number of events in Toronto against in Calgary. The difference of means now we since we're testing with the two cities are the same. If they are the same, the true means should then the difference in means should be equal to zero. Well if you can test this, and now we get the following result. It's asking us to verify, are you asking for whether mean in Toronto minus Calgary or Calgary minus Toronto? Well, in this case it's Toronto minus Calgary. We do this and now here we go. This column says the following, column B. There are 500 observations in the data set. In Toronto, the sample mean is 1.374. And now the question is, is it different than, than, than Calgary? So in column B, if you, scroll, if you look down here, it says equal variances. So Satos is saying, let's assume that both Toronto and Calgary have the same variances. If that's the case, was there a difference in mean? Well, the null is there isn't, the alternative there is. And at any of these significance levels, we reject this hypothesis, which means in plain English, there is a fundamental difference between Calgary and Toronto in the sense that the true number of events per day in Toronto is not the same as the true number of events uh, in Calgary at 95% confidence and allowing for the same variances in both cities. Even if we allow for different variances in both cities, we arrive at the same conclusion.